India's Chandrayaan-3 mission made history on August 23, 2023, when its lander Vikram successfully touched down on the Moon's South Pole. The mission is the first to land a spacecraft in this region of the Moon, which is thought to be rich in water ice. The Chandrayaan-3 mission consists of an orbiter, lander, and rover. The orbiter was launched on July 14, 2023, and it entered lunar orbit on August 5. The lander, Vikram, separated from the orbiter on August 17 and began its descent to the surface. The rover, Pragyan, was carried by the lander and is expected to be deployed after the lander has landed safely. The landing of Vikram was a challenging feat, as the south pole of the moon is a region with extreme cold and darkness. However, the lander successfully touched down at 1415 IST, 945 Coordinated Universal Time, on August 23 making India the fourth country to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a major achievement for India's space program and a significant contribution to the global effort to explore the moon. The mission will help scientists to better understand the moon's composition and history, and it will also search for water ice, which could be used to support future human exploration of the moon. The success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the Indian space research organization, ISRO. The mission is a major milestone in India's space journey and will inspire future scientists and engineers. Here are some additional details about the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The mission cost 615 crore rupees, 83 million United States dollars. The orbiter is carrying 13 scientific instruments, including a high-resolution camera and a spectrometer. The lander is carrying four scientific instruments, including a seismometer and a magnetometer. The rover is carrying two scientific instruments, including a spectrometer and a camera. The mission is expected to last for one lunar day, which is about 14 Earth days. The success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission is a major boost for India's space program and it will help to put the country in a strong position to compete in the global space race. The mission is also a source of pride for Indians all over the world. Here are some of the key scientific objectives of the Chandrayaan-3 mission to search for water ice in the moon's south pole, to study the moon's surface and atmosphere, to assess the moon's potential for future human exploration, to develop and demonstrate new technologies for lunar exploration. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a significant milestone in India's space program and a major contribution to the global effort to explore the moon. The mission's success will pave the way for future Indian missions to the moon and other planets. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a major boost for India's space program and it will help to put the country in a strong position to compete in the global space race. The mission is also a source of pride for Indians all over the world. The success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission is a reminder that anything is possible if we set our minds to it. The mission is a testament to the power of science and technology to make the world a better place. Here are the details about the three main components of Chandrayaan-3. Propulsion Module the propulsion module is the largest and heaviest component of Chandrayaan-3. It is responsible for carrying the lander and rover into lunar orbit and then transferring them to the landing site. The propulsion module has a mass of about 6,000 kilograms and is powered by four solar panels. It also has four thrusters that are used to control the module's attitude and velocity. Lander. The lander is the second largest component of Chandrayaan-3. It is responsible for the soft landing on the moon. The lander has four landing legs and four thrusters that are used to slow down the lander during its descent. It also has a variety of scientific instruments, including the Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment, CHAST, the Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity, ILSA, and the Langmuir Probe, LP. Rover. The rover is the smallest component of Chandrayaan-3. It is a six-wheeled vehicle that will be deployed by the lander after the soft landing. The rover is equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, including the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, APXS, and the Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscope, LIBS. Here are the details about the payloads of Chandrayaan-3. Lander Payloads. Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment, CHAST. This instrument will measure the thermal conductivity and temperature of the lunar surface. Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity, ILSA. This instrument will measure the seismicity around the landing site. Langmuir Probe, LP. This instrument will estimate the near-surface plasma density over time. Rover Payloads. Alpha Particle X-Ray Spectrometer, APXS. 
This instrument will derive the chemical composition and infer the mineralogical composition of the lunar surface. Laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, LIBS. This instrument will determine the elemental composition, Mg, Al, C, K, Ca, T, Fe, of lunar soil and rocks around the lunar landing site. Propulsion module payload. Spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth, shape. This instrument will study spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit in the near-infrared, near, wavelength range, 1 minus 1.7 micrometers. In conclusion, India's Chandrayaan-3 mission was a major success. The mission made history by landing a spacecraft on the moon's south pole, a region considered rich in water ice. The mission will help scientists to better understand the moon's composition and history, and it will also search for water ice, which could be used to support future human exploration of the moon. The success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. The mission is a major milestone in India's space journey and will inspire future scientists and engineers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about space exploration. Thanks for watching.